Hey farm hands, farm boy Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So on this episode of the lab, we're gonna talk about the Tunzee NanoStream 6055. This is their uh, circulating pump that we're gonna be running on all three of these rigs. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk to you about what's all in the box, uh, the spec rating on these as well. And uh, we'll see how well it's built. Um, one thing about Tunzee, name's been around for years, so it's really a good, reliable name, great product. So I'm happy to end up using these on this rig. So let's come in close, let's see everything that's in here. Um, we'll see if we can put it all together, if it comes in pieces or it's already uh, assembled. So let's check it out, guys. Great right, gang, so here's the, the NanoStream 6055 by Tunzee. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this box and see everything that's in here. So before we end up opening, let's what's some of the specs on here? Well, these ones are, uh, this pump is rated for 40 to 500 liters and up to 1,000 and 5,500 liters an hour. So that's a lot of water, guys. There's a lot of water movement in your tank, so that's great. It's always very important to have all that water movement, you don't want any detritus or any uh, leftover food sitting around, so it'll definitely kick that over into your overflow box. So let's keep moving here and see what's in here. But I wanted to show you guys another thing too uh, with the 6055. It's gonna come with the new uh, controller included. This is a nano controller. So what's great about this is you can actually, instead of just having straight uh, voltage to this pump and it just runs constantly, you can do a whole bunch of different uh, wave effects. You can do the, the wave simulation, the oscillation flow, it's got the feed mode. So we're gonna check that out, see that it's in this box as well. And the great thing too, they're made in Germany, so it's a great uh, product from Tunzee. So let's uh, let's open it up. So as soon as you open up your box, you're greeted with a whole bunch of paperwork. So what's this paperwork here? So, so we've got the Tunzee quality card. Then you keep going here. We have we have the limited uh, warranty, 24 month warranty. So if you have any defects, any problems, you just uh, call them up or email them and tell them what's wrong and they'll definitely help you out ASAP. As we keep going here, we have all the instructions for the Tunzee uh, 6055. It comes in like seven different languages, so that's great. You buy it, you can read it. So we'll put those to the side if we keep moving here. So if we look in the box, it's very well uh, put together. We have some uh, bubble wrap, so it's well protected in shipping. So let's uh, check it out, guys. So we have one uh, power cord. And then we have our, there's our Tunzee 655 pump. And the power supply. So you guys can see inside the box, a lot of great uh, bubble wrap for uh, wrapping for protection. So let's put the box aside and see what we got. All right, so here's our pump, guys. So let's start off with the 6055. So as we see here, it looks like very well built. Um, it's got a nice cradle here. So what it does is it can move around 360 degrees. So you can go, you know, you go 40 degrees, 50 degrees, you can go any uh, direction. What's great about this is if you want to put flow behind the rocks, you can turn it in certain different areas. If you have corals that like a lot more flow, you can direct it. So that is great. And then another thing that's great too, if you want to do maintenance on your pump and clean it, you can pop it right off its cradle. So that is one great spec on that as well. So we can put this to the side. So let's look at the cradle. What's so great about this Tunzee design? Well, you can see it's got two nice magnets. If we pull this apart, we have the dry side magnet. It's got a very nice uh, blue seal around it so it won't scratch your aquarium glass or acrylic. And then the, the wet side as well, you have a nice, uh, seal, black seal for the inside. So there will be no uh, scratching your tank. So let's just keep digging here a little further. So what else, you guys can see these uh, nice four blue silicone buffers. So what do these buffers do? Well, if this is uh, attached to your glass and you have your pump here, and when it when the pump is, uh, when it's pumping away, it's actually, it's almost like a joint. So you guys can see that what's gonna happen here, it's gonna cut down any vibration, any noise while well, it's pulsating, any of the different uh, wave motions that this pump can do. So when it's pumping, it's gonna be silent. So that's great. And the great thing is too, it came all together assembled. If you wanna end up cleaning this as well, you can pop this apart. You can take out all four silicone buffers. So that's one great aspect of this. If you're trying to enjoy your tank, you don't have to hear any noise. So you can clean that out and you're good to go. And if you wanna put it back together, you just take your four silicone buffers and just pop them in. They go in very easily, just like that. And then you just take your other side, a little bit of pressure, and she's good to go. See that, it's perfect. And then you can just put that right back in its cradle 
and it's in your glass and you can put that any direction you want and get all different kinds of flow. So that's a great part of that pump. And you guys can see here, it comes very long uh, cord on it as well. So you can reach anywhere from your aquarium into your aquarium stand or wherever you want to mount the controller. So let's move on to the controller. What do we got here? Well, this is the Nano controller. And just tip it around, flip it around here for you guys. So if you guys can see here, it's a really nice controller. Um, it's got the feed mode as well. So when you, when you want to go feed your tank and you don't want all the, your food going over to your overflow box and it gives you a chance for your corals and fish to eat, you just hit the button and it just shuts the pump off. And then you have all your different settings as well. You got your pulse uh, from, from two to 10 uh, seconds. You got your auto adjustment, your wave and your control. And then you have uh, all your power, how much you want to consume here to get the, these pumps uh, ramping up. It's good to go. So as you're moving on here, you have uh, your inlet here for your power. And then if you look here inside this plug, what you're gonna do here, you're gonna use an extender cable. If you wanna hook two pumps together, all you have to do is put the, can, uh, put the cable from the one pump to the other, and then you just program it. So they'll end up uh, working together. So if you wanna get that motion of the ocean on the wave uh, simulation in your tank, you have one on each side, and they'll end up working together. One will pulse a little faster than the other and give you that wave motion. And what's great about that too, when you have the two pumps, it knows to do the night mode. So when it's nighttime, the pumps will start to ramp down and uh, let your fish and uh, corals just have that nice uh, gentle wave movement. So that's one great uh, pointer about this as well, guys. So looking at the controller a little more, it comes with a really nice holder. So if you want to put this underneath your tank or anywhere on the wall, you can use two screws. If you don't want to screw anything into your, uh, into your stand, what I like about this, what the Tunzi did, they end up giving you the nice two-way tape. You'll just stick that two-way tape on the back of your holder. You'll peel that off and you can stick it anywhere you would like. It makes it very easy uh, to hook it up and not everyone has a screwdriver. So you can just use your two-way tape, stick it on, you're good to go. And you can just put your controller right back in there. Very easy. So I like that about the Tunzi, they end up giving you this. A lot of different pump uh, companies, you don't get this part, so you end up have to use the two screws and you might not have two screws on hand to do your install. So we have our 655, we have our controller. So we're moving on here, so we have our power cord. So, and this is, uh, this is the power transformer here. Um, this one here is for uh, 24 volts. So you're gonna do 110 um, AC in, and you're gonna have 24 volts DC out. So by saying this, it's great with the Tunzi, you're gonna use a lot, of, a lot of less power as well. So a lot of less power consumption in this hobby, it's all about saving money. So I'm happy to see that Tunzi end up uh, doing this as well. So that's easy to go. You'll end up, you'll just plug this in the bottom of uh, your little nano controller and it's perfect, you're good to go. So that is a great product, guys. It's really well built. I'm really uh, excited to try these out on the rigs, get them all programmed. So that's the unboxing of uh, the Tunzi 6055. It looks like a really great pump, guys, really well built. I like how it's got the four silicone buffers in there, so it's really gonna cut down on any vibration or noise so you can really enjoy your tank. Um, this really nice uh, nano controller with the holder, that's a perfect little feature, so you can really uh, mount it up under there. And the other thing I want to show you too is uh, the, the actual cable that's hooked to. If you see this, I'm over six feet tall. I'm six two, and this is definitely a lot longer than six feet, guys. So you can definitely reach for if you have a bit larger tanks, so you can leave from one side to the other, and you put that extra cable in there for the other pump. So it's got a really long cable on it, guys. So that's a great feature. So I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, this unboxing video of the Tunzi 6055. I can't wait to get it on these rigs and test them for a year. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you guys tune in at the same time, same place. All right, so please subscribe and hit the like button.